Now next we will invite Dr. Karanjit Singh, who is going to talk about Sahu is two millimeter MSA, I see it's my experience. Please stick to your time, strictly. Uh, good morning, respected chairpersons. Uh, actually, my talk is uh, made simple by uh, the talk of the previous speaker. So, uh, I'm speaking on uh, Dr. Sahu's 2MM uh, MSICS, which I am uh, doing these days, and I am teaching to the residents also. So, most of the physics part is already uh, told by uh, our previous speaker. So I'm not going to uh, the various uh, basics of uh, this MSICS. So why uh, I prefer this 2MM uh, in season uh, during this cataract surgery? Because it, is, it has all the advantages of phaco emulsification with manual small incision cataract surgery with minimum uh, complications and with minimum equipment required. So I'm directly going to my uh, video of the first case. So as uh, Dr. Shav described that uh, my incision is approximately 1.5 mm behind the limbus and it is uh, of 2 mm. So first scleral pocket is 2 mm. Then approximately 1.5 to 2 mm towards the fornix. So practically the inner incision will be, the outer incision will be 2 mm. So then the section of the scleral pocket So thanks to Dr. Sahu who taught me this technique and uh, made my life very simple in various types of cataracts. So this is as good as doing phaco emulsification. So for the sake of time, I'm so it is very simple to dissect the tunnel like Dr. Shav described the physics of this uh, scleral tunnel and I find it the, the safest tunnel in terms of the complications in terms of the least surgical induced astigmatism. So tunnel is almost uh, complete. So, uh, Rex is as usual. I mostly prefer to do from the side port, then hydro dissection. Then after that, I enlarge my incision with uh, this is this I am using 2.2 mm keratome. So, practically the outer incision is approximately 2.2 mm. So this is my way of uh, nucleus fracture, which I learned from Dr. Sahu. Then with vectors. So you see that there is least pressure on the cornea and the scleral tissue. Although we find uh, little bit edema uh, near the incision line, but that subsides within four to six days. So I prefer to do uh, foldable IUL in this case. So this is my uh, next little bit hard nucleus 
so tunnel is as usual which i described then capsular axis and hydro dissection so then i prolapse the nucleus into the anterior chamber with just applying little bit force then nucleus fracture with the visco cannula the tapered visco cannula so i can bisect i can trisect so just one minute more so then removal of the nucleus pieces so with this technique so i already performed more than uh, 150 cases after i learned it from uh, dr sahu so although there is a little bit corneal edema near that incision line during first few days but it subsides within 4 to 6 days and uh, the patient most of the patients gains very good vision without any complication so i think this is the the, the safest technique uh, and the results are comparable to phaco emulsification with minimum instrumentation with minimum effort and the learning curve uh, is very fast even now these days my residents are doing uh, uh, cataract surgery with this technique thank you jaldeep thank you very much thank so you for